I can't believe I'm reviewing a piece of wire, but actually this is a piece of wire with a difference. Just got a 3.5 millimeter jack there. And inside there is a dynamic mic preamp. <laughs> Hi, I'm going to talk today about how to use a dynamic microphone straight into your camera. That's what I'm doing at the moment. This is a dynamic microphone. It's a Rode Procaster. On the end of the Rode Procaster, I've got a Triton FET head which boosts the gain of the microphone. And then it goes into a little preamp which is on top of my camera. And that preamp is a beach tech. It was driven with a battery. And then the, the beach tech is fed into my camera so that later on in post, I've got no audio to sync up, which makes everything dead easy. So there's a lot of gaining going on. There's gaining from the Triton FET head and there's the gaining from the um, preamp in the uh, on top of the camera. And then I turn the camera down as low as I can get it so that the camera preamp is not adding hiss into the mix. So everything is preamped. That means I've got to supply 48 volts to this microphone to drive the FET head and then I've got a battery there as well. Now that's not a problem except if you want to go a bit more mobile then you've got quite a lot of equipment to carry around. Um, the, uh, the reason that we do this is basically because if I just got this dynamic microphone which will work without any preamp and I put it straight into my camera all you're going to hear is a lot of underneath my um, speech so then um, the reason is is that the preamp in the camera isn't that great perhaps as it's not as good as these preamps so I'm using much better preamps to do the driving now the answer is is to get one of these that already has a preamp inside it so to make your dynamic microphones more portable and easier to use on the move one of these is fantastic it's made by mikebooster.com down at Sunbury it's handmade by them actually and it's got a 3.5 millimeter plug here which goes into your camera and here it's got a plug to go into the end of your microphone and nothing else is needed because inside there there is a preamp and that preamp only needs power from your camera in other words it works on a very very low voltage that preamp boosts the volume of your dynamic mic and therefore you can use your camera as normal with a preamp in line but hidden away inside a plug. Its frequency response goes from 25 hertz to 20 kilohertz so as far as dynamic microphones are concerned there's no problem there at all really that's fine 25 to 20 kilohertz fantastic. It uses let me see a very low amount of power it uses 0.6 of a milliamp to drive the preamp inside there and it sends out a, a signal, a dual mono signal. In other words, both sides are, are receiving the same um, signal. So when you speak into one of these, you're going to get a dual mono signal inside your camera. So you can either put the two together if you want or just use one side. It doesn't matter. The gain of its preamp, even with that tiny bit of power that's going into it, is 20 dB. That's a bit less than the, than the FET head, but that's actually still enough power to make my camera work with this at its lowest setting. So there's plenty of gain. So if the sensitivity of your microphone is about 56 dB, which is what these things roughly are around, 55, 56, then take off 20 and you've got 36. That's a, that's a much more sensitive microphone. One thing that does catch people out is they do take power from the camera to drive the preamp, but they don't push the power through to the microphone. So if you wanted to use, say, um, a lavalier, um, you can't use a lavalier with this. It's got to be either a dynamic microphone or a microphone that's self-powered and doesn't receive any power from the camera. So therefore, you only, only really would use this with a dynamic microphone. On the Mic Booster site, it's labelled as the FEL, F-E-L, 3.5 MX mono three pin XLR input and it's just a three foot lead it's not a bad lead at all three foot if you want an extension there's nothing to stop you using the road extension so you can get away from the camera as well so that's what it's labeled it's labeled as a fell fell 3.5 mx now I haven't moved a single thing. What I've done is I've left the microphone in exactly the same place as it was when it was being used with the FET head and the Beach Tech. So this microphone is now being driven solely by the lead that goes straight into the camera using the preamp, which is on the back of my microphone. I don't know if it's still in picture, just here. So the preamp is there, just there. 
I'm looking at my screen to make sure it's there. Yes, the, the preamp is just there and the, that, that three foot wire is now going straight into my camera. So you can hear whether this thing makes any difference to the sound at all. So this is now using the Rode Procaster direct into my camera with no preamp. Oh, well, there is a preamp, but it's hidden away in the plug. And this is what makes this thing so fantastic to use. It's dead easy. It's just plug and play. I literally just pulled the wire out, the XLR from the, the Beach Tech. I pulled out the wire from the camera. I pulled off the, the FET head and I just plugged my lead in. What a simple setup. And in effect, you've got a microphone here, which is about now working at 36 dB or so sensitivity. That's much more realistic and it drives the camera easily. So this is the sound of the wire being used with the microphone and hopefully there is no difference in sound but now it's really really very portable. The preamp inside the plug was designed by someone called Laurie Taylor and in fact it was designed quite a while ago, 20 odd years ago I think it was um, that they were made and they are hand built by mikebooster.com. So just as a quick demo, what I've done is I've come out, I've picked up the tripod, I've got the microphone, this is the, the Rode microphone, the Procaster, and I've just walked outside with it. And I'm walking around with the camera, just like it's a portable setup, although it's not, it's quite a big setup because I've got the tripod. It just shows you that I can walk around now with a Procaster using it on top of the camera, into the camera, not on top, no preamp on top of the camera, direct in. I'll leave a link to Mike Booster below. So if you want to get one of these, you can click straight on it and it'll take you there to the unit itself. They're not that cheap, but when you remember that it's also a preamp and it opens up all dynamic microphones to go straight into your camera, it's a fantastic thing to have. I think it works really, really incredibly well. I hope this was useful to you and I hope to see you next time. Please subscribe. Cheers for now.